what's going on people story time I had a last week phone call from one of my subscribers from YouTube uh, please help I got a problem unknown coolant leak so the coolant disappeared so he called me <clears throat> I said I'm like dude I don't do internal engine rebuilds or anything like that but there's a guy in western Nebraska by Carney, go to him <clears throat> so the story is uh, I believe it was a Fredliner Sentry uh, 14 liter non-HR I did double check they are rare but they do exist so the engine was replaced on a truck right around a million miles now it's like a million five hundred thousand on it um, uh, what happened is, what he explained to me, uh, it has a coolant leak, but they don't know where it's going. And uh, he brought it to the dealer in his home state. I don't know exactly where it is, but they uh, pulled the old six injectors out of it. And uh, they thought it was injector cups leaking. So... into the house so they pull all six injectors out they thought the injector cups were leaking so they pressure tested nothing's leaking um then they decided to pull the head out they convinced him to pull the head out they thought it was he had a crack head micro crack and whatever and it was when it gets hot it spukes coolant out i don't know so my question was i says you like is it puking coolant out from reservoir tank he says no it's not there's dry no residue from a coolant anywhere I said, okay. Uh, so I says, well, what else they did? So they pulled the head out. They put the head back on because they couldn't find anything. They put a new head gasket on. They checked the liner protrusion. He did put a whole new six pack, uh, uh, set of new injectors, six packs. God, I'm tired. And then he left. And two days later, once again, he has to add another half a gallon of coolant to it. So he drove like that. And then he, saw my video apparently and he called me and see what my opinion is so i give him this uh we found this guy in carney he went to him uh the guy ended up fixing it so he called me today and he says hey my truck got fixed i says what was it i'm just from you know curious too so he said about two months ago um when this problem started he has an apu hanging on the side of a truck fuel efficient thing saves you a ton of money um it started running really bad. So he shut it off and then in the morning he opened it up and he saw the belt was bad and uh, he trying to start it again and it won't start. And he says, I just give up on it. So I'm like, he's like, I've got tired of it because that thing is maintenance nightmare. So he quit using it, but it's still hanging on the side of the truck. Long story, short story, the coolant actually was going in the crankcase of APU. Dealer was not thinking about it. What such thing could happen. Uh, if some of you guys don't understand how the EPU works, your EPU, thermochemical carrier, uses the coolant from the engine. And what happens is when your truck goes down the road, it gets hot, it creates the pressure anywhere from 12 to 16 PSI in cooling system. Uh, reason they do that to raise the boiling point up, if I said that correctly. Yeah, the raising boiling point up. So it had a micro crack or blown head gasket in APU. And the coolant was going in the crankcase of APU, but dealer never thought about it to check in. Uh, but the problem is, if it's a Freightliner Sentry, an APU is behind the fairing, so mechanic probably didn't look. And now, by hearing that story, this is the second time in my lifetime I had a problem. Uh, I didn't have a problem. I had another customer of mine, a friend of mine, customer slash customer. He had the same thing. They couldn't find the coolant leak, but they didn't go internally so far and they didn't spend tens of thousands of dollars. Apparently, he spent over $15,000 for the labor and diagnostics and diagnostics and uh, samples on the oil and whatever. They tore the half an engine apart. Um, the, coolant, uh, the coolant was going in a crankcase of APU, which is insane. I know it sounds like... A, um impossible but apparently it is possible i thought maybe one time um like I said customer friend slash customer uh he had similar problem but uh that time they caught in the right time they just unhooked it uh if the truck would have came into my shop i probably overlooked something like that but if you do have a epu um 
uh, yeah, that can cause that kind of problem. So pull your dipstick once in a while and check, make sure you're not flooding a crankcase of APU with coolant. Thanks for watching all.